today we're doing a video on what's in my camera bag i got this company private label to send me this bag one of their instagram ads came up on my feed and i dm'd them i like your products you should send me some bags i had recently purchased the blue check so i was like let's see if this blue check actually can give me some shit and it actually did so yeah this isn't a paid ad or a paid video but i just thought i'd show love to private label all right so packing your camera bag is very situational um if i'm gonna be packing this camera bag up i'm probably going to be going to shoot light run and gun stuff i don't want to bring full gear i don't want to have this big ass shell backpack that just tells everyone i have a camera on me kind of want to be low-key and stylish might i say this is actually a pretty cool camera bag if you ask me you got the flight tags you have the arm strap that's detachable it's sleek clean if we open up the bag you can see you got a whole bunch of space inside they have two pouches up here when they first sent me this bag it came with a couple of dividers i just kind of have one divider set up on the side for batteries loose stuff and then i have one big side kind of just set up for the camera so we'll just start at the top and also before we start i want to say i'm in a time crunch for this freelance fridays i'm kind of focused on the consistency right now so i'm grinding this video out literally at one o'clock in the morning on friday morning so uh let's just get started on what the fuck is in this bag First things first, I'm just going from what's at the top. This is no specific order. We got an iPhone charger with the USB-C cube. It's always important to keep your phone charged because I've been shooting a lot of iPhone cinematography on my iPhone 14 Pro. So basically this is a iPhone anamorphic lens that attaches directly to this case. And yeah, I've been getting a lot of stuff like this. I wanna shoot a music video, but I kinda just been playing around. So I kinda like to keep this in my camera bag because it's not heavy, it's quick to set up. And I'm in the phase right now, I'm just testing it. So it's just fun to keep around. What else do we have? A mic. This is the Rode Video Micro. I know they have different versions of these. I found that the Rode Micro kind of just way more consistent, way more reliable, and just easier to use, and it's smaller. Good sound quality. Highly recommend this one. Ooh, all right, let's get to the next thing. My baby. This right here is my camera that I use for pretty much all my shoots. This is the Sony FX3. I'm gonna be real, this camera is kind of overkill for vlogging, but I use it anyways just because I have it and it fits in my bag kind of nicely. And this lens is a Sony G Master 24 to 70 F 2.8. Um, this is a workhorse of a lens. This has been my latest purchase and upgrade. You know, camera, camera guys always love upgrading their kits but as cliche as it sounds you should know your camera before you actually try to buy a camera buying this camera was an investment this cost me about ten thousand dollars and it made sense to where my career is at so if you're watching this and you're starting off don't think you have to go buy a ten thousand dollar camera just to become a vlogger or a cameraman or a music video director or whatever you want to do like i would recommend getting an iphone 14 pro and then just shooting it with that because you can make some crazy shit with that. The technology is getting super, super easy to use. iPhones are the future for sure. Also in here, you know, there's a battery, of course. And then there is an SD card. This is a Sony Tough card. Fun fact, this memory card costs about $400. Just this little piece of plastic. All right, next thing in the camera bag is a lav mic. This is a Tascam lav mic. DR dash 10 l pretty standard for like uh the wedding videographers out there highly recommend this one um i just kind of keep it on me just in case if i'm shooting a vlog and i want to just attach a lav mic it's uh pretty quick and easy and it records to an external sd card if audio fucks up on the camera and i'm using the lav i still have this or if the audio messes up on the lav i still have the camera audio i know sometimes people connect the wireless ones that go straight into the camera feed which saves a step in post but i found that they're kind of finicky and you know you can get like weird interferences and shit so i keep it old school with the task cam. 
Next thing we have in the camera bag is this Tiffin variable ND filter. I recently purchased this one. It's pretty dated. I just was familiar with the brand Tiffin, but after doing some research, I found out that this might not necessarily be the best option. It's a good option. So maybe not be the best you get vignetting and you also can get like discoloration uh, on your image when using some of these so I don't know this allows me to be able to shoot outside in bright settings and be able to give it some ND so I could open up the lens aperture and kind of get that real shallow depth of field one tip just because it's very shallow depth doesn't mean it's cinematic and doesn't mean every shot has to be like that I've seen some people that will vlog at 2.8 with the lens wide open and I personally don't recommend that because then you run the risk of constantly focusing and not focusing and the focusing kind of messing up. I kind of stay at like 5, between 5, 5.6 aperture that kind of gives a little bit of depth but you don't have to worry about a lot of people coming in and out and fucking up your autofocus so yeah pro tip don't shoot with the lens wide open even if you can it's just not really worth it but it does look good though all right next thing we got airpods of course um this is just like a necessity i probably have this in any of my bags so definitely have to keep some airpods on you the cords obviously for the chargers and i also have the sony tough card reader that i keep in my camera bag let me see what else always gotta have a lighter this actually isn't even mine i'm just using this for this video i just found it in the studio Who's like, so this is someone's lighter and i'm not taking it just because i'm putting it in the bag and lastly most important part when you're out filming is batteries i got three separate batteries right here one in the camera so that's four i have triple a batteries right here for the lav mics also i have an extra sd card that goes up in here but yeah that's pretty much it i like to keep it kind of bare bones this setup like i said is for something running gun something simple i'll do some more in-depth setups and what's in my camera pelican case because that's like a full rig um, but I know I get a lot of questions on like what's my vlogging setup So I hope this video can give you some insight on what is in my camera bag What you need in your camera bag Let me know what you think of my camera bag And yeah, this has been an episode of Freelance Fridays um, Subscribe to the Patreon, go check out the new vlogs I'm trying to remain consistent with the Freelance Fridays Let me know ideas of what you guys want to see I really like the behind the scenes vlogs of like the productions and stuff. So I definitely want to do that. It was just kind of a busy week because it was just the first. And when you're an independent creator, the first, the first means you're going to be in the studio locked in trying to get work. Well, at least for me, because right now it's been hectic. It's been, it's been a grind for real, but I wouldn't want it any other way. Shout out to private label. Go check them out. I don't have a code, but you should try to buy a you should buy a blue check and DM them and see if they will send you some free shit. Because if you think about it, the blue check costs 20 bucks a month. You buy it for one month, you DM them, you get the bag, you save about a hundred dollars. Cause I think this is like actually this is 80, and then they have like big devils that are like 120. But definitely go check them out. Like, comment, subscribe. Freelance Fridays. I've been hunching this whole time. Jeez. Build with me. Let's go. We out.